let's say we walk briskly, like you walk fast, but we don't run. Maybe free you run because if the woman is standing there and the baby is coming, you don't want the baby's head to hit the ground, so you run. Hi, Darius. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Salasi. I'm a registered nurse here in Ghana. In today's video, I explain the differences between midwifery and nursing. What distinguishes these two fields? How different the work is in the two fields, the clients and all of that. And so if you're interested, please stay tuned. Nursing is a broad field of work with lots of options and specialities. And in Ghana, we have three basic nursing programs. That's registered general nursing. We have the registered mental nurses, and then we have the registered community nurses. But in comparing the nursing field and the midwifery field, I will talk in general as if I'm referring specifically to the registered general nursing because that makes the comparison easier. Okay, so nursing is broader, and the clients are normally sick or injured and in need of treatment. And so because of that, nurses work as part of a team to care for the sick. The doctor is the head, plans the treatment, the pharmacist is there to supply drugs, the lab technician is there to run the labs, uh, the x-ray is there to do the x-ray, the nurse is also part of the team to carry out uh, the treatment plan and also add her nursing care to the plan to nurse this patient back to health or give end of life care. So a nurse is less autonomous. The fact that she's less autonomous doesn't mean she can't make decisions, doesn't mean she can't decide how to nurse this client. And even in some situations when there is no doctor or any physician, the nurse has to act as a prescriber. So we have nurse prescribers who also, so in this case, she will prescribe and determine the nursing care to give to this client. And the training of nurses is more generalized. They can work anywhere to render care because when you get to the field, depending on the area you find yourself, then you uh, master your skills in that area. Let's say you are a general nurse, so you are trained in all the fields, how to handle emergencies, how to scrub in as a preoperative nurse during operations and how to handle children in the previous ward and all of that. So when you get to the field or when you get to the hospital and start working, Depending on where they put you, if they put you in the surgical ward, that is where you master how to take care of surgical patients. When they put you in the medical ward, that's where you master how to take care of medical patients. When they put you at the emergency, you learn how to handle emergency cases, think fast on your feet and all of that. When they put you in PDs, so on and so forth. So your training is generalized as a nurse and when you get to the field, you narrow it down to deal with what is in front of you at that moment. I hope that makes sense because the nursing care you give when you are at the emergency unit is not the same nursing care you give when you are in the critical care unit or in the neonatal intensive care unit. So generalization and then when you get to the field, you focus. When it comes to midwifery, midwifery is a specialized program. Like your work is around pregnancy, delivery, post-pregnancy care. So it's specialized. So a midwife comes out of school and is fully ready to zoom into action. Like it's ready to take a pregnant woman through pregnancy, delivery and postnatal care. So midwifery is a more specialized field. And so the training is more focused and you are given all the tools and skills necessary to implement on the field. And midwives gives a comprehensive care so creative and preventive in the health system we have the clinical care and the preventive or uh, the public health side the midwife falls is in between these two fields so she gives the creative care when needed and also preventive care when needed during the time of pregnancy so the clients of a midwife are not sick because pregnancy is not a sickness it's considered as a normal physiological process that if everything is okay and everything is normal you should just go through the process without any complications so the clients of a midwife are not necessarily sick and so uh, you find that midwives are more autonomous because at least if it's a low risk pregnancy or what we would term as a normal pregnancy where there are no complications there are no pregnancy induced hypertension there's no pregnancy induced diabetes or eclampsia or anything this pregnant woman will be attended to by the midwife throughout the pregnancy without her seeing a doctor ever 
I remember with my pregnancy, it was a midwife that took care of me for the nine months and I never had the need to see a doctor because everything was okay until I had passed my um, until I had passed my nine months mark and it's like the baby was just not going to come. So then the doctors have to come in and I was operated on. So if it's a normal pregnancy that is there and there are no complications, the midwife is the one to take care of this pregnant woman, make sure everything is okay, give education, give supplements, uh, monitor the pregnancy, the baby's growth and development in the womb, monitor the heart rate and all of that until you deliver they will deliver you that's if everything is okay they will deliver you and then continue with postnatal care take care of you and your baby so to a larger extent the midwife is her own boss the midwife works on her own she determines how to handle this client even though there are protocols and procedures in place that she has to follow like if you see this do this at this stage of this pregnancy at this stage of this, the pregnancy do this or give this and that to the larger extent she works on her own but in cases where there is complication and all of that then they bring in the doctors to come and help manage the condition and and when in their care and they discover issues or risk factors they quickly refer to the next level where the doctor will take up caring for that pregnancy and then for a successful delivery and the midwife has nursing background because per our training in ghana you are supposed to train in all you have to have small knowledge about all the other fields even if you are not a nurse you still have nursing knowledge so a midwife is also trained partially as a nurse so you can still render nursing care just as the nurse is also trained uh, with maybe free skills so they can still conduct delivery and all of that even though there's autonomy in midwifery there's, it's also stressful and a lot is expected of you because in this case you are not only taking care of the pregnant woman alone but you're also taking care of her unborn child and so that puts a lot of a responsibility on you because a missed if you miss something or you didn't detect something early or if things don't go well you might lose the mother or her unborn child so it's uh, more demanding in midwifery you have to be up and about nurses we work briskly like you work fast but we don't run midwifery you run because if the woman is standing there and the baby is coming you don't want the baby's head to hit the ground so you run they run meaning that they have to be on their feet they have to be like make decisions fast oh this woman is bleeding what should i do this woman is uh, fixing what do i do like pa, 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 pa. you have to have your protocols at the back of your head and all of that and when unfortunately you lose a mother it's a whole ball game on its own psychological effects and all of that so uh, maybe free can be very very stressful it's very very demanding especially if you are in a deprived area where uh, you don't have the facilities or amenities to help you maybe free can be stressful and rewarding at the same time even though we are all or we are all diploma nurses the midwife will receive a little higher salary than um, the nurse in this country like in ghana that's how it is midwives receive more than the nurse but the requirements to get into nursing and midwifery here in ghana are the same for diploma and for the degree program so the same grade you used to apply for nursing in ghana is the same grade and program you used to apply for midwifery in ghana aside that these are the differences between the two fields i like midwifery like it, it's it's kind of like this uh, it's like there's fire on the mountain fire on the mountain and then the fire is out and everybody's relaxed especially in the delivery suits or delivery ward it's like but boom the person is bleeding let's do this, let's do this and everything is calm the patient is fine or the patient is in labor and is screaming and all of that and then the baby comes out and everything is okay like it's the highs and lows in midwifery that i like and love like i like working there but i also don't like manipulating my fellow woman's uh, bajayjay so yeah i ain't doing that so look at it and see which one best suits you so that you make your decisions according to because i got a question in my uh, comment section asking which field is best and i don't think any field is better than the other because they look at different things so i hope this is helpful in guiding you choose the right field for you and if you want to know the differences between a registered community nurse and a registered general nurse Watch this video next and I'll see you there. Bye dearies.